Hello, hello, my friends. It's good to have you back. You recognize this famous face? You probably do. It's my buddy Frank. Do you see this part? Look how much is missing from it. It's an eight minute part, removes all that material. But this part used to be done on several machines in several operations with tons of load and unload time from manual operators as well that has been reduced to one machine in eight minutes. I'm actually going to let you guys watch it today. Mark, would you mind coming over here, press and go so Frank and I can talk to the audience a little bit more about how this process is actually working. Frank, take it away my friend. What are we getting ready to look at this machine do? Yeah, so this is a obviously twin spindle, twin turret machine, front facing spindles for quick ease of use and, and fast operation for loading and unloading. Here you see on the left side Mark's got the OP10 operation getting ready to go here. Uh, we're, bringing a, we're bringing a part in. He's going to take the finished part out of the OP10. He's going to bring that over to the OP20 side. He's going to load the new material in. He's I like watching things like this, Frank, and, and we don't need to actually go step by step. We can if we want, but I see it really getting ready. Yep, getting ready to remove, make a ton of chips. That's but it. But what I love the most when I see operations like this, Frank, is the combination of 10, 20, 30, 40, multiple operations done in one machine. So it goes from raw blank on one side to complete part on the other side, or if it's not complete, it's darn near closer than it was before. And we talk about skill shortage, labor shortage all the time. We don't have five operators to run five machines to run one part. We have one operator to run five machines and get it all done inside of one. That's yeah. what gets me excited about something like yeah, this. Yeah, absolutely. And that's what this machine is capable of. Op 10, op 20, op 30, op 40. And then we can, if there's more operations, we can link our machines together in a linear line, right? So we can add another machine, which our robot will simply hand off to the next machine, and so on and so on, depending on the complexity of the part and how many operations. Yeah. Everything automated, everything with one operator, right? Or no operator. Is it weird that I get chills when I talk about this kind of <laughs> stuff, Frank? I'm serious, guys. You can see the chills on my arms. I get really excited about it. So I know we could talk about this machine all day. We do have, I see two spindles, I do see two turrets, I see a gantry loaded, I see speed, I see capability. Yeah. But we have another machine to look at right over absolutely, here, don't we? Absolutely. As we slide, slide to the left. How's that song go? I can't even remember. Slide, slide to the to left, left now, y'all. <laughs> yeah, that's how it goes. And this one's all about gantries and speed. I see two gantries here. Yep. Let's talk about this machine. You know, same machine. Uh, this machine is available with or without live tooling and with or with dual gantry robots, right? So it's all about quickness. If you got a part that's a that's a short cycle time, right? We can do it very quickly, load and unload and machine your part. And then again, we can add any type of automation to this machine. If it's a work stocker, here you see quality shoots or inspection shoots. This machine is generally set up for a show, right? Where we're just moving apart quickly as possible, back and forth. So uh, lots of technology here. One of the fastest gantry load and unload in the market. Oh, we're gonna slide over to a third machine where we have another part but before we do, Frank, just real, real quick on this gantry loading machine, and you said it's the same machine as the first one we looked at. The third machine is going to be the same machine. Are we just showing different capabilities of said machine based on what your customers want and the flexibility of what Fuji is able to offer to everyone who just kind of want to go, well, I want this piece, and now I want this piece, and now I want this piece. It's just multiple operations on the, similar, on yeah, the same machine. Absolutely. I mean, the first machine we looked at had live tooling. So that's why it was a CSD 302R. This machine does not have live tooling, but here you can see, you know, it's a, again a custom solution for a customer. We've got, uh, you know, these smaller components, right? So we we showed you a, basically a, a larger component over there, a medium-sized component. Here we simply just move our work stocker fingers in, right, and we're able to to accommodate this this part, which is uh, a slug, right, and and uh, we're doing the finishing of this part. So. And we're talking seconds. We're talking seconds. 23 seconds for the part. 23 seconds to go from this to this. Right. As you can see. Two operations, completely automated. And then you can see all the capacity we have in there. We can literally put hundreds of parts in there. And uh, it'll just run, 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 unattended. That is the summary of Fuji, I think, right? Is run, 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 Absolutely. unattended? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. That's what we specialize in, high volume production, but not only high volume production. The innovative spirit from Fuji for everyone watching, the same machine, but different machines, gantry, speed, automation, combining operations, reducing overall costs, really reducing overall everything. If you think about what's being accomplished from multiple machines, including floor space. How many people are fighting for floor yeah, space, yeah, yeah. Frank? I mean, good grief. I head all over the world and I see this fight. I need more space. I even saw some bar feeders get cut 
the, the wall was removed just for the bar feeder part and it stuck outside the building yeah. in order to make room. So something like this and the capability to say, I can mix, match, do whatever I want based on what I'm making. That to me is the success of what happens when you partner with Fuji. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we, there's costs associated with everything, right? If it's floor space, if it's the operator, right? If it's the production volume. So that's one of the things that we like to say, you know? Come to Fuji, let us offer you a custom automated solution to improve your production and increase your profitability. We're increasing that profitability by saving costs on all those things. Very well said. I want to take that profitability as this closing statement here, Frank, and just mention one more time the fact of you can have whatever you want. Sometimes it does cost a little bit more money to do so, but what I've realized is by investing in this technology, that profitability at the end of the day, that price per part that we're actually making is lower when we invest in that high quality technology. That's I absolutely see it time correct. and time again. I absolutely agree 100%. And then the ROI for these machines is quick yeah. because of all that, yep. absolutely. Perfect. Well, Frank, thank you again for showing us a little bit of your turnkey centers, the capabilities of your machines. I tell you what, I really do get chills and, and these gantries, they fascinate me. The smile is real, my friends. The excitement is real. I love technology. Thank you so much for allowing us to bring cameras into Fuji thank America you. and showcasing this technology. Thank you all for watching. I hope you've learned as much as I have today because if you've invested time in this, time is the one thing Frank and I cannot manufacture more of and you've spent it with us. So thank you for doing so. We'll see you again soon.